Dindar was an Afro-Brazilian warrior of the colonial period of Brazil. She was married to Zumbi del Palomares and had three children. After being arrested on February 6, 1694, she committed suicide, refusing to return to a life of slavery. She is a mysterious figure today, because not much is known about her life. Most of the stories about her are varied and disconnected. Described as a hero, Dendara dominated the techniques of capoeira and fought many battles alongside men and women to defend Palmares, the place where escaped slaves would go to live safely. Palmares was established in the 17th century in the Serra de Barriga in the state of Alagoas because it was difficult to access the area due to its dense vegetation. It is unknown if she was born in Brazil or in Africa. When she was a young girl, she joined a group of Afro-Brazilians to fight against slavery in Brazil. She helped create strategies to protect Palmares. Dandar was known as a fighter, but she also had interest in hunting and agriculture. She planted corn, mandioca, beans, sweet potatoes, sugarcane, and bananas. The people of Palmares, known as Palmarinos, produced tools for agriculture and weapons for war. They also worked with wood, ceramics, and metals. Initially, all the activities and work for Palmarinos were to create their self-sustaining community, but some did trade with villages and mills in the region. Attacks to Palmares became frequent starting in 1630 with the Dutch invasion in Brazil. According to the stories regarding Dendara, she had an important role in making her husband cut ties with his uncle Ganga Zumba, who was the first big chief of Treaty, excuse me, the big chief of Quilombo dos Palmares. In 1678, Ganga Zumba signed a peace treaty, that's where I was going, sorry about that, with the government of the state of Parmambuco. The treaty stated that people of Palmares who had been arrested were to be released. Also, all of those born in Palmares were to be born free people, not slaves, and they were granted permission to engage in commerce. In exchange, the people of Palmares had to hand over runaway slaves to the authorities that went there for shelter. Dandara and Zumbi dos Palmares are said to have opposed the deal because it did not end slavery. Gaga Zumba was killed by one of Palmarinos excuse me, one of the Palmarinos who opposed his proposal. The reason why I bring up this woman, Dandara, and by the way, I got this all from Wikipedia, this information it is not my own, is because there's an upcoming game by a Brazilian developer called Dandara, self-titled after this woman, that was inspired by her story, and is going to be released today, as of this recording, on the Nintendo Switch and on the PlayStation 4. I had been following this game to see how it looked and it looked pretty decent. It looks like one of those old, you know, I would say Nintendo, or maybe Super Nintendo type games. But the fact that it has a history and it's an historical, you know, a historical person that becomes a superhero in this particular game, I find it interesting, especially if it's because it's a black woman. So I will be supporting this game and I'll be buying this game, and I'll be putting some gameplay on this channel. The woman's name is Dandara. Not much, hist not much history is known about her, but she did fight against slavery, and she committed suicide because she did not want to live the life of slavery again. She wanted to be free. I'll talk to you next time.